Hey everyone, US Bulldog here, coming to you from War Thunder Ground Forces. Just watch the bullets fly, the tanks drive, and the tanks shoot right at me. But, hey, it's good to be back. I hadn't really had a chance to make any good videos lately. I hoped you guys liked my last one, thought I'd change it up a bit. But, hey, I actually have to tell you guys, this game I'm playing now, it's not off the PC. No, I didn't get a better graphics drive or anything. This is coming off my PS4. Yes, the PS4 now supports War Thunder. Thank you, Guy Jin. I like you now. I can now play it on both my systems, which I appreciate you now more than ever, but I want you to bring the airplane that is somewhat an airplane pack for the PS4 to the PC, which is the A26 Invader. Which I'd like to see that, maybe bring it into the tech tree, but hey, can't control what they do, but yeah, oh well. But hey, but I do have a topic for you today. It's a book that I actually got while I was on vacation and I decided to read it. Actually, on my second go at reading this book, it's a pretty good book. It's called Operation Dark Sails. It takes place in 2008. Supposedly, the author was coming this weekend to where I got the book. And I'm like, what? Really? Ooh, hold up. Ah, the turn speed on this thing sucks. But yes, please forgive me, I'm still trying to learn the controls to this because they're very different from War Thunder, and yeah, it's not that easy. Even though I'm better on the ground than I am in the air. I will show you guys that footage later. And hopefully I'll get a few laughs out of you guys. But hey, back to the topic. This book actually caught my attention because I go down to the area once in a while with my other part of the family that this book takes place in. I'm like, wow, this is actually pretty neat. Who knew this book would actually take place in this area? Also, it has Blackbeard the Pirate. You, you can't go wrong with pirates. And I'm just going to leave it at that, because I don't want to spoil anything. I want you guys to actually go look this book up. It's called Operation Dark Sails. It's 309 pages, but I think you're going to like it if you're into one of those action sci-fi type things that involve pirates and navy units but hey let's just keep watching see how I do also one other thing I'd like to bring up for today is that today was the last day of the Battle of Midway one of the most strategic battles the United States fought against the Japanese during the whole course or one of the major tactical battles of the Pacific theater but hey also it's d-day plus one if you're into that stuff too so hey just think two big battles happen this week and happened in the course of actually yeah d-day was yesterday and also the battle of midway would have ended today with the u.s sinking four japanese carriers while losing only one carrier compared and causing the japanese to lose most of their veteran pilots but hey, who knows? Who knows what would have happened if the war would have turned out differently. But yeah, it seems that this game's actually pretty cool on the PS4. And I hope you guys will join me, because... What the heck was that? What was that? Was that a tank firing over the... What, what was that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Epic fail. Yeah, I found out how to aim down the sight. <laughs> Yeah, it's like these controls are a lot different than the PC. I'm more used to the PC, and now it's going to probably screw me up when I go flying my planes in the PC, and I'm like, I can do it, guys, I can do it! And then it'll be like, Bulldog, what What did you just do? You you used to be like the best of us here. And be like, I, I don't know, War Thunder PS4 happened, I can Yes! I'm on a victory streak here, guys. This is probably the best game I've had. And I, I'm still on my first tank. Who would have thought? But yeah, let's just keep watching. Please enjoy the video.
Yeah, guys, forgive me for the turret speed on this thing. It's still basically a stock tank. This is my first match in this one. Which I was able to get this game downloaded while I was on my little vacation, but I really didn't get to play it because it just said, no, you, you can't play, sorry. Like, oh, sad face. But yeah, as you see, I keep epically missing this one guy. Just to try and get another kill, because I think I'm on maybe a six kill streak or something like that. I, I don't know. But yeah, I really don't want to try the whole go through the water, because knowing my luck, I'd go sink and stay, because as I said, this tank is stuck, so it probably wouldn't get up that hill easily, and I'd probably drown the tank out. Which I'd rather go down in a blaze of glory instead of epic failing. Well, ow, 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 no, 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 aww. Okay, epic fail. But meanwhile, in War Thunder Air... Now back to your scheduled programming. Well, it seems as though we're wrapping it down here and on this first glorious game of War Underground Forces, as you saw that I did really poorly on the last one with the air, and hopefully you guys like the stuff. But hey, please leave a like and comment in the section below. Please subscribe as well. It helped me out a lot. Well, until next time, guys, the Bulldog out. <laughs>